this is uh, a problem that can happen sometimes when the system is shut down uh, improperly, and that's this. If uh, you look and you have your Pro Presenter up, but it's not showing what's on the output screen on the big screens, what's happened? That means that somebody um, turned off the uh, probably this Atlona scalar switcher before they shut off the uh, the program. They didn't follow the instruction sheet, which is first you quit Pro Presenter, then you turn off the scaler when shutting down. So when you do that, what happens is that the software says, oh, we no longer have uh, an output uh, to some big screens. We have to do everything on this little computer. So the software automatically changes its settings. Isn't that nice? But here's the problem. Once you turn your output back on, say you turn the scaler back on, the software has no idea because there's no problem, so it doesn't bother to change it back to the original settings. So how do you get this thing such that it's back putting the output on the big screens? Here's how we do it. Um, ProPresenter has all of these um, uh, preferences. And you click on preferences underneath that. And see, this is what happens. It's all confused because it's trying to do this all on one screen. So when I went to that, it started to show the output screen, which is blank. I just click on the X here, I want to get rid of the presentation, and that's how I got rid of that. Well now look, when I brought up the preferences in under the display tab, and there's different tabs up here under display tab, it's showing you, I understand you have two screens. You've got this screen, which is screen number one, and you've got those big square looking screens out there, which is number two, and I get that. And right now it's putting, you can see it says out, on screen number one. That's bad. We want it to put its output on our big screens back there. This is how you fix it. You click on the out and drag it over to the second screen and let go. Now it's going to be all set up. So we can quit out of the preferences. Now I can click on a slide. And Oh no, it's not really fixed, Rob. What happened? Well, see, this is the little glitch in it. Okay, it's got that idea, but everything's still out of sync. So the best thing you can do is just quit out of ProPresenter and start it up again now that it has the right settings. I know, it seems ridiculous, but that's why we love computers so much. Let's start up ProPresenter again. Because all these things that you know, the software just gets a little confused. It gets into a state of thinking it's one way when it's really another. And if we look now, we have black screen here and out there, black screens. Could be good. Let's click on an actual slide to see if it shows up now. Oh yeah, everything is good. So just remember, if everything seems to get horked up and you can't get what's on ProPresenter up on the screens, you're going to have to go through that little process of going up to, once again, you go up to the preferences, you'll need to make sure the output is moved from just being on screen one to being on screen two because according to this computer, it has a screen here and it's got a screen out there. And uh, that's how you do it. So just moving it over to there and then restarting the software. So that is uh, how you fix that little problem, which happens every once in a while. Hope that's helpful.